Hi, my name is Kevin Mahal. I'm a technical customer success manager here at TechSoup. In this video demonstration, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft 365 to schedule and coordinate food donation pickups. One thing we're hearing from food security organizations is that they want a way for clients to schedule food pickups online. And to that end, in this demonstration, I'll be going over how to create a user in Microsoft 365, assign a license to that user, then create a bookings service calendar for scheduling food pickup. A couple of items before getting started with 365. First, create a qualified account at the Microsoft nonprofit portal. Ensure you are licensed with the bookings app. This requires a Microsoft or Office 365 business or enterprise license and sign into the Microsoft 365 admin portal. Okay, once it's logged inside the admin portal, you're gonna to want to go to users from the drop down, click active users. And we're going to then click add a user. The information that's on display here is part of a demo account. So none of this information uh, is of live real users. If your food bank operation operates in multiple cities, which many tend to do, what I would recommend is a naming convention and setting up an account for each particular location. I am based in Oklahoma, so I'm going to pick on the OK state and the city of Jenks. So I'm going to set up an account for the Jenks Food Bank. The display name is going to auto populate. I'm then going to give it a local alias for this account. If you've already introduced a custom domain to your 365 tenant, if it's not set on that by default, you should be able to access it from the drop down menu. I'm going to leave automatically create a password uh, set up here. I'm not going to require this user to change their password. You certainly could. And then there's an option to send a password and email upon completion. So in this particular case, uh, I'm going to actually send this to my work account and I'm going to click next. The next step will be assigning a license. Again, remember you will need a Microsoft or Office 365 business or enterprise license in order to take advantage of, of the bookings application feature. I'm going to assign the E3 license here. I'm going to click next. From here, you have the option to provide what's a part of role-based access control. By default, users are just given general user accounts. If for some reason you decide that you would like this account for this location to be elevated to a higher level of permission, you could certainly do that. Um, but that is something that your organization will need to, to decide. And of course, considering things such as security, whether or not that that's even necessary. I'm going to scroll down here and click next. I'm going to review the information that I had just provided. Everything looks good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click finish adding. And we can see that the Jenks Food Bank location has been added to active users. The password information will be provided. You can also send a template to individuals notifying them that this account has been created and any other associated account information. So now that I have created my new user for the Jenks location and assigned them an active license, I can now go in to the Microsoft Bookings app and begin to create a pickup calendar. So from office.com, I'm logged in with the username and password. I'm going to click on the tic-tac-toe. I'm going to click on all apps. And now I'm going to click on bookings. When you first launch an account, you are going to see that it is connecting with the Outlook calendar associated with the account. It will actually, in fact, redirect you to Outlook initially. 
we're going to go ahead and click on the icon on the side. And this takes us to bookings. There's a wonderful get started wizard that Microsoft will take you through to help you more easily create this calendar and assign resources to it. So I'm going to create a new booking calendar, clicking here. For business or department name, I'm going to call this Jenks Food Bank. For business type, I'm going to scroll down and select other. Send attendee responses to. Now, if you have in your organization multiple people that are going to be helping to facilitate food distribution through this location, you can add their email addresses in here. For example, I'm going to once again add my work email and I can include a business phone number. I'm now going to click save and Microsoft is starting to prepare this bookings calendar. There's a notification that the booking calendar has been created. It'll have been sent uh, to the uh, local alias for Jenks Food Bank, as well as any individuals that are assigned uh, to this account. From here, I'm going to open the bookings web app and I'm going to click get started. It's going to walk you through some additional information on how to set up the calendar. Again, this is a great resource when you're first launching. I'm gonna go ahead and actually X this out. So from here, I'm going to create a service. I'm gonna click on the Alysis and I'm going to click add service. I'm gonna give this service a name. I'm gonna call this food pickup. I'm gonna give it a little description here. This is where you're going to want to add a physical location. I'm going to actually block my browser from doing this and I'm going to just manually type in the location itself. Here for add an online meeting, this is going to be in person. So we're not going to do this. We're not going to uh, check that rather. The duration, again, you're gonna to wanna to set a reasonable time frame for pickup and delivery. Um, you also are gonna to want to set up a buffer time uh, to help with the process. I'm gonna leave this at 30 minutes, but I am gonna set a buffer time uh, both before and after. Uh, in this particular case, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes in both directions to help prepare uh, for the next pickup. I'm gonna set this to free. And you can also include any notes that you want to add as part of this. I'm gonna click Save Changes. And you'll see here that the food pickup has populated under the Services tab. I'm going to click to get details. Here is where you can review different information regarding this and the service details, calendar availability, as well as staff. So from here, if I wanted to edit any additional services, uh, service information, I'm going to go ahead and do that from here. Whether I want to change the availability options from minimum or maximum lead times, if I want to assign additional staff, or whether or not I want to add a custom field. I'm gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. From here, you can now go over to the booking page. We're going to then move the no self-service to available to anyone, because this is the booking page that we're going to want to publicly share with individuals. There are additional features that you can do as well here, such as customize your own page. If you have branding or logos that you would like to use, you can change your default scheduling policy. Customer data usage consent, you can certainly add that. If you're legally required, you will wanna do that. And then business page access control. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now I can actually view this in real time. And here we have it. So when you are engaging with those that you are serving, you can take this URL now that is public facing and you can insert it into an email message to allow for them to self-serve food pickup. 
You also can, of course, manage this on behalf of an individual. If you are working with someone that say has limited or no internet access, you can also schedule an appointment for pickup on their behalf. So the last part here, what we're gonna to wanna to do is get this calendar information out to those that we serve. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna bring my cursor up to here. I'm going to highlight this URL. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into the mail account for uh, the food bank. I have a draft set up already here to schedule a time for food pickup at the food bank. Please click the link below. I've typed out Jank's food bank calendar. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to highlight that text and then I'm going to click insert link insert link again. This is going to display the text as is written, the Jenks Food Bank calendar. And this is where I am going to paste that URL. And then I am going to hit OK. Keep in mind that if you are using a mail list or a mail merge tool, you could also alternatively copy and paste that into the mail message that you are sending out. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click send. And the message has been pushed out. And there we have it. We've now created a user account, assigned a license to that user, created a bookings service calendar, and then sent out an invitation to our mailing list for individuals to self-serve in scheduling their food pickup times.